Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here. Hey, I'm in the My Mentor Dot Life headquarters today. Make sure you visit the site if you have not booked a session with your coach. Now, I can't talk too loud today. I'm in the offices and I can hear the people downstairs talking. So, y'all forgive me if they go to chiming in. But, you know, I wanted to pop in today and talk about some husband benefits. The difference between not the husband, but the boyfriend benefits. I saw a lot of people sent me that video of the young lady who she took and she bought, I'm guessing her boyfriend, a rental property. And he was like, look, I wanted a Rolex, you know, a watch, a chain. And you remember some time back, it was a young lady who took and she bought, I mean, she did a little uh, birthday thing and had all the rose petals, walked them in, had the Gucci shoes, Gucci belt, had a stack of cash for his business, you know, had all this, you know, the bath ran with rose petals in it. And we come into this space of like, it's like the war of gifts. Like who can get the their boyfriend? Who can get their boyfriend? Who can get their boyfriend? not their husband, get their boyfriend the best gift, video it, and then try to go viral. It's almost the equivalent of videoing yourself walking up to a homeless person and giving them $10 and then posting it online saying, look at the good that I'm doing. And that's what people doing with their gift giving. When, when it's really about love, and it's not about always showing it off. Yeah, the person who receive it may post it to say thank you or something like that. But truly, when it's really real, you keeping it in-house. And this is what I need you to understand when it comes to this. And specifically in the gift-giving space, when what gift should you get a man? And here we talking about a boyfriend. A husband going to be a little different, but some of this can apply. First thing first, first rule of thumb is a man should buy something for you first. So if y'all start dating, you in a relationship and his birthday comes first before Christmas, before Valentine's, before your birthday. If the time of the year that y'all start dating, y'all get serious, y'all are exclusive, and his birthday comes up, then you need to get him a card. You need to get him a card, or in, in addition to that card, you get him something that is thoughtful, but it's something that you could pretty much flush down the toilet. You know, if $25, you might say, well, look, I can't flush no money down the toilet, but you know what I mean. If y'all broke up the next day, you wouldn't have to be at Am Scott getting a payday loan. And so think about it like that. And he needs to get a gift first. So when he gets his gift for you, and now this is for your birthday or for Christmas, if it comes to where it is a holiday that both of you get a gift, then if he doesn't say, hey, you know, so what's our gift giving strategy? What's the gift giving rules? If he doesn't say that, then you need to say it. As a woman, you gotta say to him, hey, um, so what's the budget? You know, what's the budget for the gift? And he may say, well, I don't know, or, or, or he may tell you, and then you, if he doesn't know, then you say, okay, well, let's do a $50 budget. Let's do $50, you know, let's spend $50 on each other because we both working on our finances or what have you, if that's the case. Especially if it's in early on in the relationship, meaning y'all been together less than a year. And then each year, you can go up. Next, second year, let's do $100. Next year, $150. Now, you've seen Cardi B bought offset a $500,000 Lamborghini. That's where her money at. You see what I'm saying? And the next time I saw a video, it was maybe she put 500000 in cash, you know, in the refrigerator. That's where her money at. That's totally different. And that also is stupid. 
And so you have to think about this. You set a budget. Now, what's going to happen is now, you'll know if you got a grown boy if you ask him what the budget and he say, well, uh, hey, so the budget 500, you know, let's do 500. Now, if you got it like that and you okay with that, then you can agree to that. But if your budget is not there and that don't sit well with your spirit, then say, uh, I ain't got it like that now. I was thinking 50, 100. But if you agree to something now, this is where a grown boy going to get you at. A uh, uh, oh, immature man, he going to set a budget or say, oh, I ain't got no budget. I, I, I just do what I want to do for you. I, you know, I come from the heart. I ain't with all that, setting no budget and all that. I'm just going to get you what I'm going to get you. And then, so let's say you go spend 500 because he said the budget 500. You come give him the gift, and it might be a Louis Vuitton wallet for 400 and something. He come give you old Swarovski, Swarovski crystal bracelet for $100. And you get yours, and you're like, oh, I thought, I thought it was 500. I thought our budget was 500. Then he, now a grown boy going to be like, yeah, it was 500. That's what I'm saying. We not supposed to spend more than 500. And you like, hold on, but I thought that meant we were spending 500. Oh, no, I ain't got that much now. I just was saying we ain't going over 500. Now, you wanted to do that. That was on you. That's where your money at. Hey, I appreciate you, but I ain't there yet. So now you like, Wow, he really just set him up for the okie doke. Had to get me to get him an expensive gift, and then he got me these little peanuts. And so now you know. Now you know you got your grown boy. Now you got his number. Next time around, you get him old $50 gift. Like, whoa, you really penny pinching. Like, oh no, I thought that's what the level of gift we were getting each other. It's like, oh wow. But this what, in the beginning, when it comes to this this first year or so, year or two, it's going to be a little petty. going to be a little petty around gift-giving season. And this is a legitimate concern. I done got this question countless times. One is saying, hey, it's Christmas. What should I get my boyfriend? Or I'm talking to this guy. We just started talking a month ago, three months ago. What should I get him? I always say a gift $50 or less. Fifty dollars or less, because this is what you gotta understand about a man. Men get complacent easy with women. So if you come in and you spoiling a man, he gonna take from you, and he gonna get complacent. He ain't gonna try to beat you giving. He's not. It ain't God. Now nah, you can't beat God giving. But a man, you could beat him giving. Anytime, every day, every day, every time. You could be the man giving. You hear me? He's not going to compete with you on giving. On average, your boyfriend. So you got to understand that when you go in and you got to be able to say, okay, let me follow his lead on this. Because, see, a real man wants to cater to you. He wants to give to you. He want to splurge on you. He want to show you how he cares and feels for you. And then he just expects and appreciates some gratitude and reciprocation. But never, ever, ever, ever as a woman should you overgive a man. And some women, well, no, I just love to give gifts. I just love to give gifts. And, you know, I ain't worried about what he giving me. Oh, you know, you always want the woman to do this. No, listen to me. Do not go in there spoiling this man. He going to be complacent and he going to take from you and then you just going to be a do girl. So what you got to understand, let him lead with that. Let him show you how he values you. Then you can take and match him there or come in right up under him. Do not surpass him on the gift giving because now you're going to show him 
you will do too much. You will do, girl, and he going to let you be that. And then he just going to go into the mindset of just receiving, just receiving. So at the most, you want to match him. And it's the same thing y'all say when y'all talk about why you don't pay your half, offer to pay your half on a first date or on a date period. Because you say that if you do that, he's going to get accustomed to that and he's going to want to go half the rest of y'all life. Now... That ain't true for a man that's a real man and that loves you, but for a grown boy, that may very well be the case, and you're going to see that. Same thing with the gift giving. You're going to see where this man is at and how he views you, so you need to understand this, okay? And this is the thing. He needs to be able to show you how he values you, because see, a man... I'll be honest with you, what women do wrong, most men love language is nowhere near gifts. Most men don't even really like gifts like that. Like he may appreciate it, but think about this. When somebody gets you a good gift, somebody gets you a good gift, what you got to do? What do you got to do when you get a good gift? You got to, oh, oh my goodness. And you got to do that little squeal. You got to put your hand over your mouth. You got to jump up and down. You got to do your little clap. So most men don't like showing emotions. Don't like showing all them expressions. So most men can't be, ooh, 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 ooh. So that's why a lot of times you could get a man a gift and he like, hmm, this nice. I really like this. It's nice. Hey, thank you. Hey, give you a hug, kiss you. And I know my wife used to say that all the time. She was like, she would be like, I can't tell if you like it or not. Like, I can't tell if you're happy for it or not. On the inside, I might be elated. But on the other side, I might actually be like, why did you do this? You know? And so, because for most men, the main, the main love language is going to be acts of service. So you know how the saying says, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. For a lot of men, that's true. For most men, that's true. But it, it's just really to cook a meal is an act of service. But it also, so like my wife, she'll be talking about this gift. And I'll be like, baby, listen here. Listen here now. I, don't, I can buy my own gifts, okay? I can buy what I need. What I can't do for myself is script tease. I can't do no script tease for myself, okay? What I can't do for myself is cook that meal you cook the way you cook it. Now, I could get in there and burn something up, salmonella, E. coli, in that chicken, but I can't do what you do with this here certain meal. What I can't do for myself you hear me? And I say, I'm talking to my wife now. Y'all girlfriends, I ain't talking about script tease and all of this here for your boyfriend. I'm talking about my wife. But as a girlfriend, you could do something creative. You could take and get a bunch of, you know, pictures, put them on a little, you know, board that each one represents something. You could hand make a card. You could do something creative without spending a bunch of money. Now, to the lady who took and bought that rental property for the man, let me tell you what's going on. And this was happening with a lot of women. For one, she insecure. Two, she don't know her worth. Three, she trying to buy love. Four, she wanted to go viral. She thought she was going to get kudos for being business savvy, financially wise, she thought they was, yes, queen, yes, that's what you do. Buy property. All these females out here buying Gucci and Louis. Yes, queen, buy property. Something, a, a asset, income producing gift. That's what I'm talking about, queen. That's what she thought she was going to get. Boy, she was sadly mistaken. 
she got you foolish you dumb you crazy your sorry boyfriend and what you have to realize in this situation it's something just like getting a gift something as small as getting a gift can show you if you with the right person or not when you want to go buy an income producing property and your man tell you instead of earning money every month every month having something pay him he tell you he wants a depreciating item like a watch or a chain that let you know right there you got to put your track shoes on and take off running what that let you know is that this man gonna blow through your whole nest egg that when you marry this man when you marry this man or if you married to him your whole 401k gonna get cashed out early and he gonna spend it on studio time and a g-wagon with some 30 inch rims on it that's what he about to do with your nest egg with your retirement fund that your money finna be spent in the script club with him throwing dollars you hear me he finna be sending snapchats and cash apps to the online women for nasty pictures when when you see a man think like that when you see a man who ain't got nothing to a name ain't really producing no income himself can't buy his own self a Rolex, but want you to get him a Rolex. That right there, finances, that's a foundational belief. When your finances is different, y'all can't see eye to eye on your finance, you got to run. You got to run. You got to run. Now, now has she go, has she went and got up some diamonds and some jewelry? Now they mine on the same, on the same wavelength. But if she thinking rental property, she got a good heart. She a good person. You know, it ain't her fault for being ignorant to the ways of men and to the boyfriend laws and the difference between a boyfriend or a husband. Or if it's her husband, it ain't necessarily her fault for not realizing that she missed the red flag by not understanding how he views money. Now, the other lesson in that for every everybody else men and women is you got to talk about money not in, you don't have to be a direct interrogating way but you may want to say hey you know what so hypothetical question you hit the lotto you win a million dollars what you gonna do just like that like you just having fun it just look game of trivia you just you know what I mean you might even go buy you a little board game of trivia and fake like that's one of the questions question might be you know who won the 1980 NBA championships and you say okay you've won a million dollars what are you gonna do now you hear it oh well first thing I'm gonna do go get my dream car then I'm gonna get me a diamond chain so now he telling you like whoa okay see ya you hear me so you want to have this conversation that's a lesson she didn't know yet. She ain't know yet. She was blow. She was like, whoa. She was kind of shocked now. Her feelings were hurt. She wanted to cry. She wanted to cry when he was like, rental property. Man, I'm one of the watching a chain. She wanted to cry. She was hurt. She gonna cry in the car. But she didn't know. Hopefully now she realized that and realized, you know what? I'm trying to build legacy. I'm trying to build generational wealth and this man want a watch and a chain we can we, this ain't gonna work that's a foundational belief that's what you got to understand and realize so think about this you have to separate a boyfriend from a husband the other thing is you got to know who you dealing with you got to take the time have the conversations to understand who you are dealing with how y'all see life how do you see the future and it just comes from talking not interrogating not interviewing just talking just conversating just shooting the breeze one thing leads to another so that's what you have to be able to do and when you recognize that your foundational beliefs are off you got to put your track shoes on and run 
do not stick around. The other lesson from this situation, this viral video is, you have to stop trying to buy love. You gotta stop trying to buy love. You gotta stop trying to uh, seek approval of another human. You gotta stop trying to stunt for the ground. And you gotta operate from within. Stop trying to buy love. You cannot buy a man. Now you could buy a grown boy. You can't buy a man. It shouldn't even be about money. It, it should be about the love. It shouldn't be about how expensive the gift is. It's like, what kind of rental property you bought? Like, ain't no rental property cheap right now. The market high as it's ever been. Like, where in the world you bought this at? Detroit? You got one of them dollar houses in Detroit? Because a rental property had to, for something worthwhile that somebody going to live in, had to spend a minimum of $50,000. And, 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 and if you didn't buy cash, you had to get approved for it. So that means your credit got to look nice, your income looking nice. So if you in this type of position to do something for a man, and this man want a Rolex and a chain, and he ain't bought you no rental property, obviously not. You with Boo Boo the Fool. And you looking like who shot John and forgot to kill him. You got to go. You got to go. You got to slap yourself with wet baby powder. And don't even spend another second in that situation. And and here go how the man did him. The man, he supposed to be receiving the gift. He's sitting there with a phone. She hand him the gift. He say, you open it. Tell her, what? Man, if you don't get this and open this and put that phone down and let the person that's standing behind you be the only one filming, you here trying to sit here and film because you know you got you a fool. You know your woman slap crazy. So you want to film her because you finna shine for your boys thinking you got you a, 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 cube, a diamond Cuban link and an iced out Rolex finna come out the bag. So you want to film for your Snapchat. And here you is. I say, man, look here. This the kind of men y'all dating. This the kind of men y'all dating. This the kind of men y'all choosing. And this why. Your ovaries screaming at you. Your body clock ticking. And you letting all of that go to your head. And you're trying to buy love. You're trying to rush the process. And you want a warm body. So instead of having a real man, you'll settle for a warm body. You'll do for a, a half a man instead of a whole man. And let me tell you this. A man who will just want to receive, receive, and accept from you. And he has not given mm -hmm. to you equal or greater on that level. That man right there, that's not your man. That man is cheating on you. He taking your money. He finna, after it went viral, hey, babe, I'm sorry. I just was joking. I wasn't even serious about that. What I look like, boo boo the fool. You think I'm crazy? What I look, broke, busted, and disgusted. What you think I'm a lame? You think I really want to watch or chain over a rental property? Man, you crazy, man. Get out of here. You know I was joking. You know me better than that. He finna take that woman rental property. You hear me? He finna sell that rental property in the next month. He finna get it transferred to his name. Because obviously it's in her name and she still got to transfer the deed. Because he would have known what she got her if she put it in his name. Because he would have had to sign the papers. She, she finna transfer the name. Soon as they transfer the name, he finna sabotage the relationship. Because she too smart. Meaning she too dumb smart. Meaning she won't rent a property. And she naive enough to buy it for a grown boy. But he want him a dummy with money. He want a woman that got money, but she gonna buy the ice stop watch and the chain. So what he finna do is get that property in his name, and then he finna sabotage the relationship. He finna let one of his side women text him or call him when he right in front of her to see if to make her mad so she gotta leave. 
And if she don't leave, he gonna say, well, since you caught me cheating, I'ma go ahead and go. Because if I'm cheating, that obviously means the relationship is broken. And then he gonna leave with that rental property, sell the rental property, get him some jewelry, and spend the rest on studio time, working on that terrible album. See, this the kind of men y'all dealing with. And this why I'm trying to prepare you and give you the game so you can recognize the signs early. So when you see this man, when you meet these men, you got to be able to look and see where his priorities at. And it could be something as simple as this. You look at this here man and you find out what he do. Y'all talk about what you do for a living. Let's say this man say, oh, well, you know, I drive for UPS. And let's say you just happen to know that's 50K a year. I don't know what it is. But let's say it's 50K a year. It's 50K a year. But when y'all get to the parking lot, he in old S550. So this means he drop, he make 50000 a year. But he driving a hundred thousand dollar car. Now you know his finances is out of order. Now you know his finances is out. Now you see how he see money. He got he he made fifty k, but he bought a fifteen thousand dollar Rolex. But he made fifty k. You see what I mean? It's just picking up little things like that. It ain't even about asking all the questions. Sometimes just watching, just just watching, just paying attention. And so you'll get to pick up where this man's mindset is at. And then you can move forward from there. So understand this. The other thing is when you building a relationship, you building a relationship, only thing you need to be online is pictures of y'all. All these here videos, I done seen so many videos of engagements of engagement uh, pro of proposals and then the couple get divorced that all that is not for the world that's for y'all that's for your immediate family that's for your children that is not for the social media because them people don't love you so stop trying to monetize your relationship understand this when it's not serving a purpose now, it's totally different if you're doing something that's going to actually teach other people how to build real love. But when you're just doing something just to go viral, you're setting your relationship up for failure. Now, imagine this young lady. She, record, she had this recorded. He recorded it. They put the video online. So imagine all the arguments, all the fussing and fighting that they going through from all the backlash, all the comments. They they going through so much and it and the video is not from his phone cuz his phone in his hand. It's from the person standing behind him, which is probably who she had recording it. So now she getting cussed out for making him look like a fool. Oh, you did me like that. Man, you ain't love me, man. Why you put that on there, man? You know how people live. And you know this blog gonna post it. And you know I ain't even mean it like that, man. You know me better than that. And now you got me going through this. She probably got cussed out. She could have got roughed up. Ain't no telling what happened. And now they got to go do a, a public service announcement. Get a publicist to further explain what happened. All of that. Because you want to put your business online. You can't get caught up in that. So listen to me. This is the rule of thumb when it comes to pictures and videos for women. Okay. Let your man post you before you post him. And if he posts you early. So like if you start dealing with a man and he posts you within three months. He posts you within six months. Now, typically, a man posts a woman fast to get back at his ex-woman. He using you. He using you. You the thirst trap. His, one, his ex thirsty, and you the thirst trap. 
he posting you to get back at his ex, to make her mad, to show her that he's moved on. When a man posts you inside of six months, and today, honestly, when a man posts you inside of a year, the other reason he will post you fast is if you got some money. If you got some money or you got some stability, some financial stability, if you got a, a car that's dependable, if you got your own place to stay that's in your name and he does not have those things, he'll post you fast. Okay. When Now, if your man is not fresh out in a relationship, he, he doesn't have a soul tie that's strong with an ex, Y'all talked about it. He been single for a year. So he don't got a soul tie, okay, that's strong. He has his own place. He got his own car. And he got a good job, meaning he's gainfully employed legally, okay? I ain't talking about a dope boy and all that, scammer and all that. He legally employed. He's completely independent. Now, if that man posts you within a year, it ain't by the ex, because he ain't got no ex that's recent, okay? And he and he got all his own. If that man posts you within a year, he's in love. It's because he loves you. That's what that is. Now, you remove any of those things, meaning you he don't got a car or he don't got a place to stay, or he has an ex and he posts you inside of a year, very rarely is it going to be because he in love. It's going to be because he know you take that serious because he claiming you to the world. He is claiming you to the world. I remember mean, when I got online in 2009, I had got married in 2007. I still, I ain't post my wife in 2009. And I probably posted 2010 after, you know, a little bit because that's just natural for a man. Now, I'm going to tell you the honest truth back then now. I'm, I hadn't really started walking in my purpose. So I still was open. I still was open. I still had wandering eyes. And really, and I don't try to use my truth against you because you wouldn't know this. I ain't tell you. I'm telling you to help you. So you could see a man like myself who doing what I'm doing and the way I live my life. When I was 24, 25 years old, 25 when I changed my life. But it was by the end of 25. You hear me? But before that, I had wondering eyes. I wasn't posting my wife and bragging about my wife. And let me tell you why. The reason why is because I was not sure if I had done the right thing. And I was not sure if I was going to bump into somebody else. Was not sure if I was going to cheat. Had not made a full commitment. And that is where 99.9% .9 of men are. So a lot of times women come to me and they say, look, we've been together X amount of times and he hasn't posted me online. That's because he don't know yet. That's because he don't know if you the one. He leaving room. I wasn't actively pursuing other women. I wasn't talking to other women. But I was leaving room. And if the devil wanted to slip in, he could have slipped in now. I thank God for his grace and his mercy. Now, a, a man who ain't under that covering because he not called to do this work that I'm doing, he might be tested in a different way. And so your man not posting you because he leaving room, because he don't know if he want to be with you until death does us part. And he don't want to mess up his record. He don't want to post you and then all his women who watching him fall off. You see what I'm saying? So understand this. Y'all go wrong when you go to post on a man and he ain't posted you. Oh, bae. Oh, boo. Bae this, boo that, baby this, baby this. And my man, my man. Every day you posting, you posting, you posting. You you just so happy. To, and the reason why you posting, it ain't even, a lot of times with women, I notice it ain't even about love. It's about making your haters jealous. It's about making the single women that you don't like mad that they ain't got no man. And what you don't realize is they could have a man if they willing to settle like you settle it. So you posting your sorry man who ain't even doing right and might be a grown boy, but you posting him 
because you want somebody to say, oh, she taking, she off the market, oh, she complete, oh, she a whole woman, oh, she got it together because she got a job, she got a car, and, and she got an education, and she got a man. Oh, man, I'm so jealous of her. You want somebody to be jealous of you. So now, that's what I want you to realize. So you can't be doing it for the gram, for the book, Twitter, wherever you at, on LinkedIn, YouTube posting your man instead keep it offline till you know that you know keep it offline till you know that he posting you and he posting you for the right reasons he might post you but if you don't know in your heart that it's for the right reason don't post him yet because you might have to leave him in a month and so many women that's what they go through they go from posting this man it's been three weeks. A lot of women start three weeks in posting their man because they done had a few dates. Posting them. At the three-month mark, they broke up. Now with another man. So the people on Facebook, like, uh, I done seen her with four men this year. The world, she running us an escort service. What the world going on? And it's because you so ready to show that you got a man instead of letting your man show you that he is a man and that he is the man, the man, your man, your husband. You hear me? Let him show you that. Then post bottom because we tired of getting save the dates and for engagement parties and wedding dates and then got to begin the text a month later uh unsave the date because it's off it's canceled and then we got to get another date and then we looking at all these different men of and all these save the dates we got and now we at the house with a portfolio or say the dates from you because you keep promoting a man. You keep praising boyfriends because you worried about somebody watching and reading your body clock. You worried about what people saying about you. You you worried about people thinking that you barren and, and, and that you never going to get married, that you got the scarlet A on you, and so you trying to show the world that you take it. But your man is not taken. You in a relationship with a single man. You see what I'm telling you? So that's what you got to wait on. And you got to let this man show you behind closed doors first. That he loves you, respects you, cherishes you. Then you got to let him speak with his wallet. That he willing to sacrifice and spend on you to speak another love language of gifts or quality time or acts of service whatever it may be then you need to see that he is willing to show you publicly that he willing to show you to the world and let the world know that you're his and all of that has to coincide with him having his own being a whole man a real man and all the way independent, able to step up and be the man that you need. That's what you need to be able to see. And if you can't see that and all of that don't go together, then you need to pump your brakes. Stop being desperate. Let go of the frustration. Let go of the anxiety. And take your time and build with this man slowly so you can see. And then at the end of the day, if you look and you see that, oh, this man ain't what I thought he was. He ain't all I thought he was going to be. Or I, I realize I met his representative, but I don't truly and fully know him. If that's the case, then boom, pull on bike, pull on bike, let him go, move on with your life. That's where you got to get to that place that you understand that this is your man. Hey, now this Tony Gaskin, this video, it can't be too long. I done went too long on this, this topic. I probably could hit a few more points, but hopefully you get what I'm saying. And and just to bring this all the way back, 
just to the gifts because that's what triggered this here video because I kept seeing that is stop trying to spoil a man. Stop trying to buy a man. Now, when he's your husband, that's different. You can be a blessing to him, but even then it need to be in reciprocation. And it also, it need to be because that's what he want, that's what he like. Not because you just want to spend money and you just want to buy gifts, but he may rather a back massage. You see what I'm saying? But for your boyfriend, you got to slow down. You got to till all the way out with all these gifts and giving to a man and you giving a boyfriend, husband benefits. Hey, this is Tony Gaskin. Thank you so much. Hey, I apologize. I missed me a couple of days. I had four speaking engagements in four days, but I plan to be back, Lord willing, on here dropping the videos for you every day. And I'm going to be covering all kind of topics going forward. So make sure you drop your questions in the comments because I may see it. Um, and if it fits and I can do something with it, I will. In the meantime, be sure, click the links in the bio. You'll see, in not the bio, the description. You will see the mymentor.life, the book your session with your coach. Some of you have. I congratulate you, commend you on that. For those of you who are ready to become a coach, I'm planning another live session April 11th if the venue is available. But if you can't make it to Atlanta, I'm not taking it anywhere else right now because I'm trying to stay near home and not be on the road too much. You can take it online. You can take it online. Um, on TonyGaskinsAcademy.com and I got a coupon code in the description as well for you being uh, a YouTube subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit the button, hit the subscribe button and you can use that coupon code to take the Life Coach certification. Hey, this is Tony Gaskins. God bless you. We'll talk soon.